It was March 10, 1891, when a dedicated group of volunteers worked tirelessly to raise $100, and as a result, the Boys Club of New Britain opened its doors in Harold Hall on Church Street. Fast forward to 1971, when a capital fund drive was kicked off for the relocation of the club, and in 1972, their new building at 150 Washington Street opened the Boys Club of New Britain to young men like alumnus Darwin Shaw. The Boys Club, number one, not only was it great for the community, it was great for a lot of kids that were unfortunate. There was a lot of structure within it that helped us build, you know, build character and, and qualities in life now that, that, we, that I still use. Crucial development in the areas of education, the arts, life skills, leadership, technology, sports fitness and recreation, and character development. I can remember being thrown in the pool, like <laughs> six years old. So at that time, I was like, I don't know about this boys club. But um, as the years went on, especially my high school years, kind of kept me you know, straight. You learn how to fail but you learn that that failure shouldn't stop you. It's just like the failure only leads to success, and it started right at the Boys and Girls Club. Over the past 125 years, nearly 150,000 young people's lives have been changed thanks to the Boys and Girls Club of New Britain, providing a safe place to learn and grow, a place of hope and opportunity, and of true relationships with caring adult professionals. There were many adults that were good role models for me um, that really were a positive influence, that, were, that was someone that I can talk to when I didn't feel comfortable talking to my parents about a subject. Just growing up, you know, there was, uh, there was a lot of people that were staff here that, you know, they were part of my life. A sense of gratitude from a common thread that bonds these alums' lives together forever. Something to eat, um, you know, seeing my friends playing around, you know, a whole big experience. It has helped me become who I am today, uh, being a a coach, being a teacher, this is 32 years I've been doing this, and I learned a lot of values at a young age. It was rough growing up, you know, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's really rough because I'm a very positive person and, you know, you, you try to like do the right thing and, and it's like, if they weren't there, like, I don't know, I don't know what would have happened to me. When kids graduate from the New Britain Boys and Girls Club, they also become part of a special alumni network. The relationships that you build there can last a lifetime, which for me they have. Kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. There was always someone at the Boys and Girls Club who cared about us. You know what they say. Once a member, always a member. <laughs> always. Boys Club for life, for sure.